What's yeah. up next? Uh, I mean, are you getting more into investigative journalism now, or? I don't know. I'll just take what whatever interests me at the time. So awesome. there's no there's no plan. There's no okay, no agenda. Yeah. This man know if I die. Think I try to write this song 370 times. I can never say this, but I think I think for a reason that's so much bigger than me. What is up guys? So we've been working all day long. Right now we're heading out to Ryan Holiday's new book launch, Conspiracy, where he talks about um, the lawsuit between Gawker Media and Hulk Hogan slash Peter Thiel and the whole um, the situation that went on there where essentially like, you know, Peter Thiel, the billionaire, was able to take down one of the biggest media companies in the US. Um, so right now, yeah, we're heading out. We're gonna meet uh, Ryan, get to ask him some questions and, you know, take it from there. So I'll see you then. You can like really see like, I don't know, like, Ridiculous rounds of funding, you know, thirty million dollars for like, you know, a Series A company that that doesn't have a product, you know, that just has like an engineering team, and you're like, like how does that happen, you know, like that that would never happen in like in like any other industry, you know, like you would never give thirty million dollars to like a couple of kids, twenty five year olds, that are that are well, that don't have a product, yeah, that don't have anything, you know, to actually show for it. It's it's something like just push this wrong idea of like you know entrepreneurship is very easy. Entrepreneurship is just hustling. Hustle two years, two to three years, and you're you're gonna you're gonna exit. You're gonna be Mark. Uh, you'll yeah, two to three <laughs> years. For some reason, everyone has a number in their mind. Uh, three years, yeah. and I'll be out. Yeah, exactly. I'll three, out. I'll exit. <laughs> three, <laughs> three years, and I'll buy I'll buy you know a castle in Italy or whatever <laughs> cash. <Lambo. laughs> it's like I think Bill Burr has this great joke where he's like you know like he's criticizing Steve Jobs because he's criticizing all the people that like and now in the modern world just like you know compare themselves to great figures of the past Mahatma Gandhi Mandela me <laughs> like, what, what do you mean the other thing that is really amazing about Silicon Valley is how everyone talks about billions you know just like you know, like oh, it was just like, like a thousand, billions, a you know, like, you know, just like, like you know, oh, just billions, billions. You're like, what are you talking about? I mean, <laughs> you realize that you know, once you get them past the mark of fifty mil, I mean, you know, unless you really are into like antique cars, you know, like dude, you're set for life, you know. legal system itself goes mm -hmm. right I mean if you get hit, uh, the example I've been using let's say you're driving you get hit by a, a Walmart truck mm -hmm. and you try to do the right thing you try you know you are you, you gotta pay my me medical bills they don't they sue you they're jerking you around in court and then you go to your rich uncle and you say fucking hate Walmart they've <laughs> ruined my life yeah. I, I'm gonna make sure they never do something like this to anyone ever again right and your uncle says all right, I'll pay for it, you know, go do it. This is why I have the money, so I can help my family. And mm -hmm. then you win in court. Is that set a precedent? Is that scary or alarming? Mm -hmm. Not really. I mean, mm -hmm. this is what the ACLU and the Sierra Club do. They just often don't, they usually disclose their relationship right. beforehand. I'm not sure why, in, again, to the rich uncle example, should you have to tell Walmart that you have help from your rich uncle? Should you give them, mm -hmm. uh, the advantage of knowing the source of your financing. Mm -hmm. To me, what I think what really matters is whether your case is a good one, right. and whether it it matches with the law, and whether a judge and a jury uh, agree with you. The actual alarming precedent, I think here, which would be relatively easy to fix, I think the idea that you have to post a bond of $50 million yeah. to appeal your case is somewhat alarming. There's a reason for that law. The law is you shouldn't be able to you know, just spuriously spend the money that you owe me if you're appealing and appealing right but you owe me money you shouldn't be able to use all that money to deprive me of the money that i've earned but it is kind of alarming that they did not get their constitutional right to appeal in this case did, did you find that the punishment you know was matching when a single digit millionaire gets a hundred forty million dollar that's i don't well, know in the end he doesn't get 140 million. okay it's 30 right so yeah. uh that's a little more reasonable, right? Uh, I guess. <laughs> but I mean, I, I think the jury did the math. They said, mm -hmm. "Okay, look, you ran a sex tape of this guy, and it was viewed seven million times. Uh, what are we saying each? What's the, the cost work. of the humiliation of each one of those views, or what's the cost of to your career of each one right. of those views? You multiply seven million by any number, and yeah. it gets big real quickly. Yeah, I think that's what happened." 
Thank you. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. Thank you so much for yeah, coming. Um, I, I got all my, my whole stack of Brian right. books back and forth. What's yeah. up next? Uh, I mean, are you getting more into investigative journalism now, or? I don't know. I'll just take what whatever interests me at the time. So awesome. there's no there's no plan. There's no okay, no agenda. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. So much. Appreciate it. What is up guys? So we just wrapped up the night. It was so awesome meeting Ryan Holiday. He is so full of knowledge, so full of insights, and uh, I'm just really excited you know, that we you know, got to meet him, got to ask him a bunch of questions. Uh, unfortunately, it was super packed, so we weren't able to capture everything. Uh, you know, I asked him a little bit about his thoughts on you know, um, the rise of plutocracy and things like that. Um, but you know, we exchanged contact info, so hopefully I'll be able to you know, maybe do a little segment with him sometime in the future. Uh, and otherwise, it's just been an awesome night, you know, grabbed some dinner, and now we're heading home. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time. What is up guys, we are heading out right now. I'm going to give a panel on blockchain cryptocurrencies at the best U Expo down on Long Beach. So I think, you know, Bitcoin is too expensive right now at 20,000, then the very same people at 8,000, 5,000 tell me, oh, it's not going anywhere. I'm like, well, a month ago, you want to get in at 20,000, now it's too cheap for you. You know, it's, it's always too high, like too high or too low. It's never the right time. There's a way that we can escape out the fiat money But we gotta start it from within It's the algorithm, my friends got the rhythm It's like the synonym for breaking out the god vibration right. It's the blockchain coming right Type of insane vibe coming from the algorithms And we can't...